Let me introduce you to the Kidder Slick Interconnectable Wireless Smoke Alarm Range. Bit of a mouthful, eh? Very confusing. Many of our uh, customer services staff upstairs are always saying that it's one of the most popular ones where people ask questions about wireless smoke alarms. So let me explain what we've got. First of all, each Kidder Slick Alarm is available in an ionization, an optical, sometimes called a photoelectric, and a heat alarm, the one you put in the kitchen. Now, to be honest, our favorites are the optical and the heat. Um, ionization, just so that you know, does use radioactive particles for its detection stuff. In uh, Very strange, but uh, it does. It won't do any harm, but just so that you know. This side, as you can see, have a six-year guarantee. This side has a 10-year guarantee. Can you see? Can you see? 10 years. Now, what does that mean? The six-year one, here's one I've got open, has a battery backup. Yes, these are mains smoke alarms. If your mains cuts out, you've got a power cut, you've got no smoke alarm. You're in the dark. So these have a battery backup. Lovely Duracell in the six-year one. So just bear in mind that that will be like a normal smoke alarm battery and that will require changing every 18 months or so. In the 10-year one, they have a built-in lithium battery. They will last 10 years, the life of the smoke alarm. You will not have to replace it. So <clears throat> here is this is this little fella. This is the optical. By the way, I'll explain these in a minute. Just hang on. And the wireless. These are the wireless bits. I'll explain that later. That is the smoke alarm lump. Looks like that. It says connect to 230 volt mains electric. Quite obviously, that is a job for an electrician. Um, we don't, at our company, we don't employ any electricians, so we can't give you electrician advice, but we can give you the rest of it. But you will get the full instructions that you require, but please, please use a qualified electrician. The way it works is the electrics connect to the base. Each one comes with its base. Every single one has a ba base built in. You do not have to buy a separate base. Unlike, uh, and by the way, the slick model is called a slick because of the speed in which it fits. Once you've connected this and it has connector blocks without any screws, I'm just going to pop that off without breaking it, but these are screwless connectors, which I believe for electricians makes great. No screws to drop. That was just the little cover. So... I'm going to put that back on. I'm quite impressed with myself for not having broken anything yet. All back together. So once that is screwed onto the ceiling and has the electrics connected, this little bit folds out like that. So you leave it like so. And it simply slots in. pop it up and then slide it across. That is one connected unit. That is a lot, lot quicker than most mains smoke alarms. So if you're doing a large residential block of flaps, these are gonna save you a lot of time. That's why they're called slick, by the way, because it's slick and they probably couldn't think of any other name. That's kidder for you. Another thing, by the way, point of interest, everyone calls it kiddie. Even the people at work there, but apparently it's Kidder. Mr. Walter Kidder um, came up with his name like 100 years ago or so. So there you have it. You'll have uh, lights, you've got hush, you've got test, all the normal stuff. These have CE mark, British Standard Kite mark. Kidder is one of the world's largest manufacturers of smoke alarms. They make something like 30 million a year which is just ridiculous. North America, Europe, they're sold everywhere. I'm going to pop that aside because you may want to know, what do you actually get in the box, John? 
when you get a new one, don't drop it, John. Screws, roll plugs. This, by the way, is a 10-year heat alarm. And because it has a sticky outfit, it's got a bit of extra cardboard. So, what do you get? All right, let's put the box over there, out of sight. You get a smoke and heat alarm installer's guide. It has everything you need to know on many pages, including where to put them, how to put it, how to use the connector blocks. If you hear any rustling, it's just that stuff. You then have Kidder's smoke and heat alarm owner's manual. It tells you everything you need to know as the owner. How to keep it maintained, what it's approved to, etc., etc., how it works, all that malarkey. They have thought of everything screws, a base, that's just a cardboard cover to protect it. Remember what I said about the base? And this is a cover so that if you put these up, Smoke alarms should not be painted unless you are buying the 12 year designer smoke alarm, which is the only one that can be painted. These say on them, do not paint. So they supply a helpful dust and decorating cover for when they're put up so they don't get used. These can obviously then be used as a shower cap, dual purpose. And you can even put them on one of your shoes and hop around in a laboratory, keeping your feet warm, clean. Cardboard cover to protect the end on a heat alarm. This is how you spot a heat alarm. They always have a sticky out bit because they, they monitor <coughs> the rate of the rise of the heat or the heat temperature. So they've got that. That's generally the difference. Now you want to know about this. If you want to interconnect these, you can connect a whole series, I believe it's 23, so that if one goes off, it sets all the others off, which is how it should be done. But currently, you will have to wire that one to that one. So you've got to get cable from one room to another. Here comes the wireless bit. Now the wireless is just simply wireless interconnecting. These are mains smoke alarms. They have to be wired into the mains. Yes. So you can um, wire them into a local circuit, like a lighting circuit or something, if that's not correct electrical advice. And please, don't blame me. I'm not an electrician. But to interconnect them wirelessly, you need to purchase the wireless base. Pop that over there. That's a protective cover. As with all of the Kidder things, Kidder goodies, they provide you with fabulous instructions. Kidder Slick Wireless Base. Again, proper instructions, how to do it all, everything you would need to know. Everything your electrician would need to know, because of course you're going to use an electrician, aren't you? <clears throat> they also give you a very helpful quick reference guide as to how to set up the wireless aspect of it. And then the LED settings to tell you what's going on. It really is not rocket science. And I might add, our staff are very knowledgeable and Kidder are very, very helpful if you ever get stuck. They also give you a little maintenance sticker so you can hide it in the back and check when they've been uh, make a note of when these things have been maintained. Good stuff needs maintaining. Um, by the way, the, inside the, um, the long life, they have a, uh, instead of having a standard battery, they will have a lithium battery built in. It's a sealed item. It's the same in the wireless base. They also have a wireless backup, just in case, so they can still interconnect wirelessly. I believe it will last for three months on its own. They come with the screws. But after that, let me take the little protective cover off that one. It does actually tell you, by the way, it says attention, smoke or heat alarm removed. 
one's red, one's black. Other than that, they look exactly the same. Yeah? Except when you turn it over. That's the one that comes as standard. Nothing in the back there. That's the one that comes as wireless. That's got all the gubbins in the back. That is professional electrical wireless gubbins. What happens with these is you just take that base, not use that, use this one instead. You pop these up, you make one a master, it gives all the instructions, and then you just press a couple of buttons and one, one will send out invisible radio waves. Looking for friends because it likes to have friends. If you go and ask one of the others if it wants to be a friend, you press a button, instructions are in there. And then it finds its friend and it gives you an LED to confirm it's connected. End of subject. And that's what you do. So if you've got a big, imagine you're doing a block of flats. Imagine how much time that's going to save. Now, just remember, the wireless base needs to be connected to the mains, but on the local circuit, so for instance, into a lighting circuit. The wirelessness is for the smoke alarm A to talk to smoke alarm B so that when one goes off, it sets the other one off. Is this, does that make sense? It makes sense to me. So wireless interconnecting still needs to be wired to the mains. The reason I say that over and over is uh, because we have a lot of phone calls about it. You're wondering what this little extra one is. This is dead clever. This is also an optional extra. Of course, once these things are up on the ceiling, they need to be tested regularly. So this little fella is a wireless base remote test and hush. Remember when they go off when the smoke, uh, when you burn the toast? Box out of there. Screws, as always, a little protective cover can be disposed of, as always with a professional company such as Kidder. Instructions. These are really short because all you have to do is to make, once you've set up your wireless little circuit with your smoke alarms, this little fella just needs to follow the instructions to also add to the wireless connectivity. But this does not, this is a battery operated, it's got test and it's got hush. So if you, if the smoke alarms start going off, you don't have to go and reach up, get on a chair and press the button. You just walk over to the wall and press that. It hushes. How cool is that? <clears throat> so, recap. The Kidder Slick Smoke Alarms, six year guarantee, but the battery inside will last for about 18 months. 10 year guarantee, the battery will last for 10 years. Job done. They work as normal main smoke alarms. You can interconnect them if you want to interconnect them wirelessly. Purchase the 10 year guarantee wireless base. If you want to then be able to test them easily, purchase a remote test and hush. And there you have it. If you want to know anything else, we have data sheets, we have prices, we have dimensions, approvals, ugh, you name it, we've got it. Just follow the links on the page and it'll all become clear.